team team Chinaf, I'm Lemon and Chess. Time to do my mission train. Let's go. Okay, how can you hear me? Hello everybody, I'm Jim Dinch. Great. Alright, so let's have a look at the game off. Let's have a look at the game of let's go to live chess first of all. Our life will be disappearing. No! No! Life! Alright, so I guess okay. Need to go to play. There you go, I see. So Okay, Legends Candidate Master Sami de Scalona 2002. He's from Venezuela. It is Sami de Eduardo Escalona Landi. From Maracay, Venezuela. He has a federation of 2122. Alright, good luck. These. Didn't play him before. Um, I'm not sure. I guess these. Ooh, interesting. I want to try to find get the bishop. Okay. E5, mm hmm was more or less the move I was waiting for. I mean, I really want to take, but then after knight e5, this is a strong diagonal for him. So I don't know actually what to do, because I'm going to take, he'll take, and then this is a threat. So maybe I might consider bishop b2, e4, knight g1. But I'm I I I have spent a lot of tempo. I mean, okay, yeah, spend a lot of tempies. But let's see, what will happen? I'm not sure if it will be good for me, but I guess <laughs> we won't see if I would if I wouldn't try. All right, knight g one. My knight is passive right now. I think I'm gonna play like bishop g two, then e three. Knight e2, castle, knight bc3. Well, <laughs> sounds like a good plan, but I hope it will be easy to make it make it come true, because <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to say, like, <laughs> I want to become a grandmaster, but yeah, if you don't work, it won't be possible just to say something and get it. I mean, even if you're, I guess, if you're talking to Jean, probably it would work, but I'm not so. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm considering move like a 4. He left knight here, bishop here, knight f5. I mean, I should be happy I can play knight f3. So, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright. I'm not enjoying my position, to be honest, so far. Pretty passive, to be honest. Uh, knight f3, bishop g2. Probably I'll start with knight f3 so I can play knight c3. And if something is wrong on king side, I can castle queen side. So yeah, that seems like a good deal. Alright. So... Pretty spicy position, it's move 8, I have only have one piece that is not on the first rank, so <laughs> yeah, when I moved twice it was just basically a tempo waste, so tempi waste, so I'm not super happy with moving it, but I'm continuing living, continuing living so it's all good, yes. Alright, so he sings for some time. I mean, maybe it will be interesting for him to consider like such a weird move from first view, like bishop g4. Technically preventing knight f3 because he can take. And I mean, 
I, I, I don't really enjoy my position pawn structure right now, but after that I <laughs> don't like it more. So yeah, bishop g4. I guess I can play bishop g2 and then knight f3. Yep. All right. Well, he thinks for really some time. Yes, he. I am. Let's say not scared, but a little bit worried about something like g5. Oh, okay. Yeah, this and then bishop g4. I mean, otherwise I don't really see the goal of this. To be honest, I can play up to bishop g4 something like queen d3 and queen e3. I was just like considering uh, it right before he moved. He played it. Seems interesting. So yes, I need to defend it. To defend it, bishop g4 is the move. I would be really surprised if he would not play it. Bishop g2 on the castle. Short side castle, bishop f3. I mean, I can't sacrifice a pawn, but I'm scared that this diagonal will be a huge weakness in my position there afterwards. So I'm not sure. Knight c3, he can take knight d4. And yeah, I don't like it. Bishop g2. Long side castle. Knight d4 doesn't work. I can go for bishop f3 first, so. Bishop f3, bishop f3, knight d4. Bishop b7. I mean, technically works. Technically it works. I can go for bishop f3 takes f. Knight d4, king of 1 doesn't work. Ouch. Uh huh. Should work. Uh, what else? It's like move 9 and we already spent 3. 3 plus minutes. Okay. Uh, all right, this bishop of 3d5 isn't good at all because queen c3 is nil one. Okay, I need to make a move, I guess, soon. Maybe knight f3 wasn't good, but I didn't see anything else. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess I can go for this takes takes knight d4 king of one. Okay. Okay, that's weird, but can f1 cannot jump with his knight. Technically, my idea is to take on b7 and knight a3, knight c2. Yeah, can f1. I guess, if I guess like stockfish evaluation would be like minus 1.5, plus 1.5 for him. But I'm not sure. I guess I need to maintain the tension on this diagonal. If I play like knight three, he'll be happy to escape with his knight. So idea is knight a three, knight c two, or knight a three, knight b five. Okay, this and what if I do knight here? All right, let's calculate this knight a three here. Nope. Uh, queen e three something, and I can go for queen e three, but I'm not sure if I want it. Knight a3 and then knight c2 idea. He can go for on side castle, knight c2 and knight e3. So maybe I'll go for it. This knight c2 <coughs> that he has. F queen d3. Alright, let's just play knight a3. We'll see what will happen. Yeah, I guess knight e7 is his reply. Knight c2, knight f. E f5, queen d3, 
Castle rook d1, c5, bishop b7, rook a b8, bishop b4, bishop f5 idea seems pretty good, and then it'll be a pawn up. So I was doing check in a line like this, queen d3, probably short side castle, rook d1, c5, this, rook here, bishop e4, though I guess for him it will be better to go rook a8, bishop b4 still works. Yeah, this, knight c2, knight here, queen d3, g4, I mean, kind of works, yeah? Uh, and gf, I'm not sure about this. It seems spicy, yes, I'm queen h4, so it seems way too aggressive. Queen d3 seems like a nice move. Yeah, this, rook a d1. Can you go knight e3? Oh, knight e3, knight e3, queen e3, knight f5. No war, so let's try rook a d1, c5. C5. Wait, did I say A5? Yeah. If I did, excuse me then, please. Knight D4 is not good, so I guess I'm gonna take Bishop B7. Rook A E. No, Rook A B8. All right. So well, I was like, <laughs> I calculated on like almost six moves further. Didn't see that move though. I guess I will take, he will take this king g7, king g2, king f3 just like wild but interesting. <laughs> I can go for g4 also, I'll go for knight d4 now, not super good. Yes, I'm gonna take, he does take back, and now this, king g2, king f3, why not? I mean, yes, queen f6 at some point. I can go for g4. Queen h4 is, let's say, a bit annoying there. All right, queen c3. I'll be happy with a queen trade, because then it will be good for me. I have to be careful with queen e4. I didn't see that. Ouch. Maybe I need to move my knight to f3. Hmm. Probably more, a bit better square. Where? But then knight d4, I can go knight f3 straight. I don't know, king g2, so I technically just waste a tempi. I guess rook hf1, this is some. is having some potential. Probably his idea is to break through a4. I can go knight e1 and then knight f3. Knight d4, knight f3, knight f3, king f3. Let's try it. Oh, I'm not sure if it's any good for me here. Seems really passive. Alright, this. Ooh, I missed this move. Missed it up. Alright, rook hf1. I can go for king g1. I'm not sure if it's so bad. Here. Knight d4, rook d4, nil one, I think. <laughs> Queen c3, knight e2 he has, so I can go for king g1, probably my move, I need to play faster. <laughs> a3, d4, queen c3, queen b4, takes this. c takes the f, queen c2, and then uh, let's see, 2 root d3 is this, this. Need to play versus this. Pretty strong pawns, which are already at my side, and I'm not hugest fan of that. These. H3, oof, I messed this up. This is probably forced, but then he can have some some random root move. Oh yeah, mess this up. <laughs> Ouch. 
Yeah, it was bad already. Maybe GTA's achievement was good. Don't know. Look up three. Would have been interesting. Even in Queen D1 now. H3, Rook F3. Yikes. And Rook F4. Game. I don't even know Queen of Three if you want something fancy, but he doesn't. That also wins. E2, I guess. And then Queen of Three, probably it's the easiest win. Yeah. The game can master Samidas Kalona 2002. Good game, thank you. He's from Venezuela. Marakite is submitted to address Colonel Landy. It's a federation of 2122. Alright, yeah, that was really <laughs> not, not, not well played from me. It was equal, but then I, I was confused what to do. It was already lost, and I didn't see H3 idea coming. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's just blind here. There's better. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was really bad game for me. I could have just played bishop d5, bishop d4. And I'm not, not worse at all. Yeah, and I g5, knight f3, forcing a draw. Would have been the best move in stockfish says at least. It wasn't clear advantage, at least I thought so. Bishop d4, bishop d5. Yeah, I didn't consider that at all. Uh, let's quickly, I guess, do some puzzles. Your stockfish analysis is pretty slow. Uh, start classic trainer. Knight f4, knight g5. Both seems good. Everything is good. Good. I mean, not everything is good. Everything seems good. C594, don't see any goal in it. Uh, yeah, it was better, but I didn't feel that I'm better from the beginning. Okay, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Is this knight here? No. What was it, knight d4? Okay, knight d4, bishop h3, rook, okay. Almost what I considered, but okay. <laughs> Another direction. Mm. Another direction, was it? Uh. Another way to win rook f5, rook f5. Oh! Oops, what was it? Rook d3. Oh, and if rook f5, bishop f5. I didn't see a fate. Oopsie. Yeah, so 2 nil nil here I was worse, but somehow it gets slightly better, and then I, I get lost. Mm -hmm. Alright, knight f7 should be correct. Knight g6 just wins a rook without any mind-breaking moves and without any mind-breaking puzzles. G5 and then knight f4, knight g3. G5, knight h5. Knight f4, rook c3, knight h5. And g5? Is bad. Okay. Rook f5 and then knight d5 for g5. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't even consider it. Um, Wing b2, a6, queen a1. No, probably no. Not 100% sure that it's not correct, but. 99 but I'm sure it's not correct queen b1 I mean queen b2 king a6 queen b8 and yeah and it's nice 
Next, uh, rook c1, rook c1, nope. Um, f3, knight c3, the, I mean f3, then these. Just bishop h3. I'm blind today, nice. Rook here. I guess this should still work. Yeah. Okay. Bishop g5, bishop f3. Something similar for Lois challenge yesterday. Not super similar, but I guess here. Queen d2, queen c1, queen d2, so these, queen e4, I have bishop h7. And here, bishop f4 with the same ideas, and bishop g5, bishop h7, queen e4. There we go. Next, uh, yeah, I guess g 7 is an intuitive move. Bishop f6, roof plate, knight f5 immediately, but I stopped myself. I think knight f5 is strong because he has bishop f6 in between her. And then I'm not, not better for sure. Queen f2 seems like a good way to play. F2, queen f3. There's a big difference, I don't think, though. Queen f2, okay. Any difference? No, queen f3, queen f2 doesn't matter. All right, knight e4, d5. Um, knight d5, knight, uh, knight e4, d5. Then, I'm... And then bishop g5, f6, queen e5, like this. Mm -hmm. Knight e5 doesn't work, queen h5 probably doesn't work. I mean, maybe it does. Yeah, it does, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in the game against my opponent, Samida Scarlona, 2 7 2 one 3 one for me, and 2 0 0 for him. It's a mistake I had to go for d5 because now he's slightly better. And then now, without mistakes, I'm better than here. I to go for bishop d4, knight d4. Bishop d5, I would have been plus one, but I just didn't feel this advantage. And then, like, without knowing what to do, I played badly, and then I to go for h4, preventing his h4, and then I to go for queen d1, preventing his h3, at least somehow. And here I just lost the game, King Master, Samidas, Samide Kal Hona, uh, 2002. Wait, I need to take with this. Then h4 and then queen d1. No mistakes for him. Fan PGN download roll. Let's open uh, chess base. Okay. Uh, this, this. Default keep server. Alright, so this is this. That's a mistake. I had to go for d5. This bishop b2 e4. That that's a mistake from inaccuracy from him. He had to go for knight f6, knight c, no, e3, h5, h3. We went in h4 somehow. Knight here, knight e7, and he's slightly better. Knight f4, that same mistake from him already. He had to go for bishop f5. Uh, bishop g2, knight b4, knight a3, knight f6, and he's slightly better. Uh, these, these, these. Then c6 is the same mistake from him. He had to go for knight e7. And if knight a3 now, then c5, and he's, it's equal here. Knight a3, these, 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 that, that. That's a mistake I had to take with something on d4 bishop. Is better, these, and then I am slightly better here. Alright, knight f5, that, then I'm already slightly worse. Uh, but okay, here, that's an inaccuracy to go for knight g5, so he has to move his rook somewhere. And knight f3, no, not here. 
uh, somewhere sent you this and then it's just a draw c takes dz that same first mistake and to go for h4 it's more or less equal position then this is a blunder I had to go for queen d1, some rook d4 ideas, if h to gen f, rook f3, I'm for sure not better, queen f1, queen c5 is of course better here, but I have some compensation, because here it just forced matinate, and here mate intelligence game can master some medical corner. 2002, alright, so let's put it into leeches games with analysis, and my game so leeches. So that's all ready. 188 games. Uh, delete it. Now let's have a look at the game of uh, the Master Bosch, Mr. Boschwald against Indish Master Attacking Beast. And now I'll be back in a few minutes.
Hello again, I'm here. Alright, create a game, random site. So, in trust attack in Beast 1, yeah, it felt like he was better. I'm not really sure. B4, yeah, you just give away a pawn. Plains Virginia Knight, he's from USA, he has a USA operation of 242. Now, good luck. And then attacking beast was was a beast. <laughs> was a beast indeed. All right. So he takes, doesn't play anything else. I was thinking maybe he 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 he, he can play when queen d4, but he didn't play queen d4. All right, bishop g4, e6, bishop b4, hill castle. No, he doesn't, but that is the same uh, thing. I need to move back ward with my queen if I don't want to lose it. Because, yeah, bishop before he couldn't take my queen because it was a pin. But now as he played bishop d2, he unpinned. I mean, the, he unpinned. I mean, ah, that was weird, but okay. Uh, he unpinned his knight, and then my queen was threatened by his knight. So his knight was threatening to take my queen. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna play bishop d6. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking bishop f3, but nope. Mm-hmm. Alright, should be careful. Maybe I'll just play rook d8, <laughs> so d5 takes. Takes, takes, he'll take bishop h2, takes, 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 I should be better. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Boom, 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 boom. So, yes, it won't be good for him to play d5 right now. That's an interesting move. I can play a6, I th think. Queen g5, h6, queen h4. But then, you can play a move like knight e7, then he'll have knight e5, and then it's still interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'm losing, but it's still interesting, I guess. Um, so d5 isn't idea yet, still, I guess. If h6, knight e5, knight e5, queen d7, that is good. If knight e5, knight e5, d takes e here, he'll take, I'll take. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Um, ba -ba -boom. If I'll take this bishop, probably it's not so good. I guess I'll play a6. Yeah, it seems fine. Let's try it. Idea a6. Alright, now d5 is technically his idea, because I can take, but then I won't have bishop h2 check at the end of the variation. Yes, I can go for bishop g6, but I didn't think so. I may not also. <laughs> I may and I may not play. I think I'm gonna force his queen to d2, because then it's a bit more safe to play, it feels like. Okay, it's this. I mean, his idea is still d5. Bishop g6, d5 takes, takes. He's fine there. Um, maybe 4 is an interesting plan, but you can just easily take wins. Though it's not interesting anymore. Um, what else? I can play like bishop c7. Maybe bishop b8, so at some point I can have queen c7 as an idea. If knight e5 I can take, this queen a4. Knight a4, bishop e2, rook d8, rook d8, e takes f, g takes f. My pawn up. Idea? Probably knight d5. And then knight d5, queen d5. Yeah, seems good. Seems good. Maybe he'll play like knight g1. Just trying to trade off, but then I have queen c7. Knight e5 for sure doesn't work because of knight e5. 
And bishop h5, I'm going to take, take these, these, I'm a pawn up. I don't have pawn on a7, so at the end he cannot take it with his bishop. If something like knight g1, yeah, as I said, queen c7 looks promising. If knight e1, also queen c7 is promising. I can even take if like knight e1, because takes and then some knight d5 seems pretty active. I mean, right now it is pretty visible, I guess, but my plan is queen c7, so he has to play g3. I think it's not so great pawn structure. And then at some point, if you want the bishop of three queen h2 mate, if you will play g3 or g4, if g4 then I can even capture, consider at least, but probably bishop g6 is just safer, nicer. And if you'll just play g3, I can take knight d5 takes takes, I can play knight d5 takes takes, and then double up on d file. And then put pressure on it, and he can move his bishop from e2 because it is busy protecting the knight. Though he'll have bishop before at the end. I guess I can even trade this bishop. So if without those bishops, queen rook here, rook bd8, this, and rook d4 threat seems more than fine. Sorry if you didn't understand anything. <laughs> I'm yeah trying to be as uh, trying to explain as good as I can and trying to. Also, not be so slow, so I'll keep track by my own because if I'm too slow, I can forget something. <laughs> so, yeah, trying my best. Trying my best. Alright, so he still sings. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that he'll play something like that. But as I said, this is more than a nice plan, I think. If you won't take on d5, knight e3, queen g3, it's not good for him. If he will take, then just rook d5, and d4 is a big isolated weakness. Then I can double triple up, rook fd8, queen d7, and then even bishop a7. Alright, if this knight e5, knight e5, d takes e, queen e4 should be a pawn up still. So let's play bishop g6 without much of thinking. Without much thinking. My idea right now is queen c7, and of course knight e5. <laughs> Who would have guessed that? Uh, and at some point also knight e4, and if he takes, then takes, he has to go for king g2, f queen h2, or bishop, king g1, bishop f3, bishop f3, she can have one queen h3, king e2, I'm a pawn up, he has exposed skin, so like that, and I'm two minutes up, and his queen is pretty exposed. I mean, queen cannot be exposed. His skin is exposed, but queen is uh, looking for some adventures. I think, I mean, maybe it doesn't look, but <laughs> it will find some adventures for sure. I will promise this queen will get into some adventures. All right, knight e5 takes queen e4. Well, he just goes to an endgame where I'm a pawn up? Well, I mean, if I don't blunder anything, that's more than a nice deal, I think. Because he'll still have rough position, all right, I have to take. If rook d8 will be, like, ideal, if you want, then I'll play bishop e5. Cannot move his knight anywhere else than c3. I have bishop c2 threats, so that's, like, pretty, pretty good position. If f4, it's not dead, I guess. <laughs> um, wait. If I understand correctly, rook d1 he'll have to take with bishop, because if rook d1 then bishop is to bishop a4. So this bishop takes knight d5, I'm like so pushy. So let's take. And what after bishop c2? Am I missing something? I don't think so. And rook here, bishop a4, bishop c6, and my other bishop will be safe. So I guess, yeah, you see, <laughs> his knight, I thought some troubles will be with queen, or at least, I, I didn't say he's square, but as you can see, it was with queen square. Um, all right, I mean, playing an exchange up is comfy. This bishop d4, knight d5, ideas, rook c8, I'm just smashing. And bishop f2, of course. I could have taken knight b7, this, but, but. <laughs> I'm even too lazy to take that pawn. Then rook c8, he'll go for b4. I can go for knight d5, knight b4. That's that's nice. So if this knight d5, bishop a7, knight b4. This hangs, bishop a5, b6. 
those two pieces hang. And yeah, that seems like a victory. Yahoo! Nice. Nice. And all the name of the Regina Knight. He's from USA. He has a USA of region of 2142. There we go. Good game. The Grandmaster Bosch, Mr. Boschwald was having elite. No, no problems at all. Yet, from first view, he has a bad bone structure. But how can uh, Intrashmaster Attack and Beast use it? I don't see it. And then Attack and Beast just hung a knight and he lost. Here he was slightly better. What have I missed? Wait, this really worked? Wait, I didn't consider that. I was only. Oh, okay. When I played 2K Data, I just considered D5. So 1 day 3 mistakes, 0 blunders, 39 never raised in most of them, and 1 day 3 mistakes, 0 blunders, 11 never raised any bonus for me. There we go. Queen B5 blunder, I get to go for 95. Nier is slightly better. Not super better, just a little bit better. Nier, I get to go for Rook okay, one I'm already plus 1 in this position. And then you just place 95 and Bishop B6 mistake, I get to go for 93. Just forget that I, or maybe blunders that I have this, Bishop C2, and then here he resigned in another game. Virginia Knight, good game. Oh, thank you for hinting, but I remembered it. And here it would be pretty, it would be pretty nice if I'd have a hint. Alright, I remember it without a hint, and there we go. So let's download roll, uh, PGN, just base 16, control F, and this, boom, 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 so yeah, it was, I liked the game, it's pretty comfy, uh, alright, that's any next, day. yeah, he just had to go for castle, it felt like he played a little bit too passive, this I'm already slightly better, but not something that good, Let's say mistake I had to go for ninety five, then queen c eight. Yeah, why queen c seven and have some weird pawn structure? And here it's interesting. F six. I also have this weird pawn structure. We have like spike on f six. So knight f four is slightly better there. H six. I use my advantage. That's a mistake. Uh, no, that's. Okay, that's a mistake. He had to go for queen b3, just come back with an 85 idea in perspective. This, this, queen c7, king f1, knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, like I wanted in the game. This, and then I'm, it's equal, but I have some pressure on his isolated pawn. With this, that's another mistake from him. He had to go for rook a c1. And yeah, queen d6, g3, knight d5, like I was, what I was planning. Probably, ah, it takes the just cutting this side off fully. So this, this, queen d7, king g2, g5, and then better, slightly better, to be honest. Uh, and then bishop b6 was just a mistake. Final one here to go for knight c3, where it's much better still, because a pawn up is so comfortable endgame, but no, that's a blunder. Uh, let's say some compensation better than in the game because I'm just an exchange up and then win a piece. So here of winners I know that in Virginia Knight is from USA. Good game. So Liches games with analysis and my games on Liches. Boom, it is 189, if I remember correctly. 189, exactly. Uh, delete and now let's go to here. Computer. Uh, level 21, choose random. Oh, I'm white. Oh, nice. All right, d4, d5. Okay, interesting. He doesn't go for slap. Knight c3. Oi. Oh, nice. Grunfeld. Wait, bishop g5. No, I need to play knight f3. Um, bishop g5. Uh, wait, it's, he takes d. He'll take him c3 now. Okay, he does. Nice. Nice. E3, bishop f4, c5. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> uh, what is this? You can go for c4, d5, which seems good. I'm not sure if it's so good. Queen b2, 
two bishop c4. Seems so right. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, makes sense. Uh, okay, bishop d3. Oh, wow. That's. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. g4, knight h4. Doesn't look too bad, I think. Knight e5, these, these. Hmm. Maybe I can even throw this pawn off? Castle takes, takes queen f3, e4. I mean, technically, it's not so bad if I throw it off. Let's try to throw it these. I mean, technically, I can just take here and I'll get it back. Do I want a pawn back? Well, I'm greedy, so I think I do really want it back. Um, yeah, probably if I wasn't greedy, I wouldn't, but as I am, let's accept it and live with it. Mm. We need to, um, bishop e2. I don't think we need to because he has rook c3. I think rook a b1 is interesting idea because I'm greedy and I want to eat pawns. <laughs> uh, yes, c4. I won't be really sad if we'll just trade everything off. So let's go for it. Ooh, interesting. Go for bishop e2 and bishop h5. I can go for c5. h4, z, a. That's sneaky. I already got trapped to h4 today's real life opening game. So I'm not sure if I really want that. I again, h4, uh, c5, h4. C takes b, h3, that's bad for me, right? Because mate is stoppable, but I need to throw everything. So I don't like, I don't really like it. Another possibility is this, then c5. Ah, I cannot play c5, he has just, he just has rook c5. So let's play bishop e2. This, this, g4, f queen e2, so probably is not so bad. Let's take on h5. And now, I guess it works that I don't lose any material. This idea is knight d2, I'm pretty sure. Um, I can prevent knight d2, rook, I, I mean, at least my can. Ooh, no, wait, bishop b doesn't work. Whoops. All right, rook fc1, knight d2, these. Rook c8, d5, these, but it feels just too crazy. And I don't, sh I'm not sure if it really works how I want it to work. I can play rook fc1, I can play rook bc1, play rook fd1, which is probably my favorite move. Favorite. Uh, I'm not sure. Rook fd1, g4. It's like most, the move which worries me the most. Because my bishop can get stuck there. How can I lure my bishop out? Um, yeah, I need to, I guess. <laughs> I can technically even play h3 until take bishop f3. Let's play rook fd1. I like this the most g4. Yeah, I need to be careful. Though it's not so big threat. Queen f5, I have like rook b5. So, yeah, it seems not so bad. Though there he'll have e5, though. I'm not sure. Uh, h3, gh, bishop f3, and some queen move. Can even trade off queens. Let's go for h3, I think. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Bishop f3, knight e3. Uh, but I guess I can play or rook e1, or I can take... Alright, these... Um, queen d5, queen trade. It's interesting. This pawn on h3 with queens is scary. Without queens, I'm not really scared of it. Because, yeah. <laughs> because I can easily take it. So, probably my favorite move of all... Here is queen d5. Okay, he doesn't want to trade the queens off. I see. Queen h5. I guess it's like a draw. Though takes, takes. Maybe it's nice here also. Yeah, I don't see anything bad. 
he needs to trade otherwise rook will would have fell on a8 so king h2 huh bishop f3 knight g3 bishop oops bishop a8 knight e2 king f1 knight c3 rook b or rook dc1 should be fine all right let's play uh, let's play this all right uh now i'm gonna take on a8 and king h2 probably because i don't see anything bad with this move i mean my my rooks still are in the air you can take them and he did take one of those I, I don't need to rush with taking this pawn i can technically play rook b1 rook c2 rook here check rook b7 win that pawn not sure if i want it play rook d2 rook b2 rook b8 which is also interesting rook d2 rook c3 rook b2 rook a3 and then king h3 so yeah let's play rook d2 this pawn won't run <laughs> It's one step to be eaten by my king. So let's play rook b2. And then rook b7 immediately. So idea to take. Yeah, I think it looks good. So idea to take both of his pawns. Now, king h3 is unstoppable. Now I have a passed pawn here. And some scary pawns over the board. I guess one. <laughs> on a file is pretty far others are pretty close to each other let's play king f3 i guess it will be a fairly good trade and then i'll trade the bishops wait let's not rush he'll have rook a5 have king e4 there and yeah bishop e5 he can play bishop h4 but then i can repeat <laughs> yeah bishop h4 oh okay there we go now it's just cozy realization part king g3 f3 king f4 just slowly king e4 check should be careful but should be scared because they cannot lose if not a mouse sleep what happened yesterday uh yeah otherwise it is almost impossible to lose i think d5 is scary because of rook b4 so f5 just seems easier let's call it like that i guess king e4 king f4 this idea to push e4 he tries to hold but probably he won't for too long play rook a6 I guess he cannot move rook at all oh uh, can he for d5 can d4 there we go d5 keen I guess I can go to f4 I can go to d4 e4 then can e5 rook h5 rook king d4 aside from here uh boom 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 rook is interesting that's not so easy i know i'm like completely winning they will win but it's cool that he doesn't resign and tries to show his best if king of seven that will be great <laughs> if but it's too good to be true all right, let's play king c5. I don't lose anything by this move. e5, rook c1, king d4. It will be hard to avoid checks. So probably I will play rook a6. And now rook h4 I can push. If this, I'm going to play king d4. King e5. And then rook a7 check. So his king will be cut it on one or 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 easier way is just to play king e6 and continue pushing then rook c6 and then his king is cut from that side that's even better than it was before because now king cannot do anything at all he needs to exchange the rooks to be able to move his king 
but as if he'll trade the rooks he will be even worse than here he of course won't do it all right let's play e5 king e4 king f5 king e6 and then rook c87 he'll go king b3 if he wants then king e7 and then e6 and rook c8 just to make sure he won't eat my rook then d8 probably he won't take because it's computers there we go uh that's in their brain that they won't take <laughs> the queen and okay king a3 and boom no stalemate right yeah it's not possible okay good game the game computer level 21 master Okay, it felt like a pretty decent game. Bishop h4, Gary, one wins. Ag3, Mr. Vermaster, Mr. Bishop h6. Ui, ui, ui. Why would you just take on h1? You want some. Whoa! Wow! Look at that! Queen d3, knight e2. Look at these. <laughs> Whoa, that was a smash. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. So 96.9 accuracy for me and 85.6 for him, 60 best move for me, 45 for him, they were brilliant for each of us of course, 12 excel move for me, 17 for him, 7 good move for me, 12 for him, 6 book move for me, 5 for him, 3 next for me, 5 for him, 2 mistakes for me, 3 for him, and 0 blunders and 0 miss wins for each of us, key moments, yeah, Gary won, probably I would just take on each one, it was way too fancy, but it still worked, and it was even cooler. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, he takes this last book move. Uh, yes, he played weirdly. I'm happy that I gave my opponent it immediately back. Yet I'm already plus four. Didn't felt so at least. Queen five is a mistake. Um, what would have I play here? Queen h5 just uh, seemed cool and not, 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 not stressy. I was considering king h2. And then rook d2, rook b1 immediately, rook c2, a4, I see. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then maybe not the most surliest, but pretty sure and slow realization part. I didn't really want to rush and lose it. Or, I mean, lose it is hard, but draw it. Okay, some faster mate. Rook here, nope. Rook here, no. Uh, I would say, oh, <laughs> yeah, I would say how. Oh. Um, boom, 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 boom. Rook c two, no. Queen b one. Ah, uh, queen b five, no. Ah, uh, wait, it's mating two. Hmm. How can it be mating two here? Isn't that just hard? Ooh. I mean, not this. Uh, rook b8. There we go. Thank you. He spied a bit. <laughs> um, and rook b8. There we go. So plus 1.3 and it's 98.2 in total. So I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, then please join my club. Which comes here. Fun club. And I'm my club. There are 1163 members. Thank you very, very much. So it's 87. I'm a son of a tournament. 200 members. So please say all the typing. And also please join my chess special and club. And the team is members. Thank you very, very much. So. 74 more MS and tell my tournament 1000 MS, so please so we're happy. And thank you for following chess and you on Twitch and the Please, about an answer, right? You will send to you, please, in chess club. It's common, also, please, in this one, please, in the description. Yeah, bye bye, Papa. See you soon, see you tomorrow, and some fun, see you all. See you.